Hi, I'm just going to quickly show you AM21. Once you've downloaded the file, um, you can then install it by clicking it. It might prompt you to turn on the um, ability to load um, files or APK files directly. Uh, it might not. It might mean you have to go and find that setting yourself and turn it on. Once you've done that, you can then click install um, and then open. And it will come up. Now, if it finds your FMM folder, it will list any saves that it finds in there, say one, two, three, four, etc. If it doesn't, you'll have to use the Find File dialog, which opens up Android, and you have to go and find where the files are yourself. Now, I think for most phones, it's going to work and find them automatically, but I'm not sure. So um, I hope it does. I'm going to open one. Now, the very first time I try and open a file, it's going to say, hang on grant permissions to this app to open files. It shouldn't ask that again. It should just be the first time. And then it will come up and the default view is the team list. Uh, before I mention that first though, uh, up in the top right, there are five uh, icons. The open folder is basically just the start screen where you can choose which um, file you're opening. So if you want to swap to a different file, that's what you'd use. The second one is refresh. So if you've got the game, op game open and you make some changes in the game, you keep playing and then you save again, then they're not automatically shown in the app. You have to press the refresh button and let it refresh to low show. The third button is the team view. Um, it shows you the players in your first team, but you can uh, swipe the left sidebar in or press that button up the top. And you can then change the reserves, which I don't have any because they're all loaned out, etc. You can look at which positions, etc. Fairly limited options in here. There's a lot of options in when we get to the search section. If you want to look at a particular player, you can just press them and it will bring up all their hidden attributes, etc. Um, all their other attributes. It's... Um, 255, 0 to 255 is the value stored for some of these. So that doesn't really make sense. It doesn't match what you see in the game. If you turn that little switch on, I try and guess which what, what the attributes will be, but it's not accurate because it's not a straight up value. There's a lot of things going into that value that the game is calculating based on age and other things that I, I haven't worked out. So there's a bunch of stuff in there about the player. If I go to the fourth icon, that search, and in here, um, it'll show me the first 200 players. I can change that up to 1,000 players. I'll show you that in a minute. Same deal, you can click on the players to have a look at them. Um, this guy is obviously the regen of Messi. Um, there you go, he's got a nice high um, PA. Um, also, if you swipe left or press the left uh, button, you can uh, filter this um, based on like age. If you want a young player who's like a wonder kid, you can take that down um, to bring up uh, to a high um, PA, etc. You can pick which positions you want. Um, you can search for things like are they transfer listed? Uh, although there's a slight bug in that at the moment, it doesn't always show all the transfer listed players. I have to look into that. Um, you know, contract expiry, uh, etc. You can search for players, you can search for clubs, you can search for nations, etc. There's a little switch here to make it an exact match search. So if you're searching for Newcastle United, it's going to show Newcastle United players and Newcastle United reserve players. So you might want to turn that on uh, and then Newcastle United won't show Newcastle United reserves, etc. Um, there are also some hidden attributes here. Uh, the ones that I felt were more important. Um, next, the very last thing to show you is the last button where you can expand how many players are shown and you can export shortlists which will be put into the FMM uh, folder in the right spot and you can then import them directly into the game. So I think that's about it for now. Uh, I hope that uh, gives you a taste of what it's like and some pointers if you're not sure what to do. Thanks very much. Bye.